minutes. Thanks, Laura. Insurance companies paid Kentwood Pharmacy more than $80 million for bad drugs. That statistic was released yesterday in a hearing for the former CEO. Kim Mulder and pharmacist Charles Brooks both entered guilty pleas on charges related to illegally recycling drugs. Mulder arranged for unused drugs to be picked up from adult foster care and nursing homes, then redistributed the drugs. He could spend up to 10 years in prison. And Brooks could face three years. 18 people in total have been convicted of criminal offenses while working for Kentwood Pharmacy. The Obama administration is asking nearly a million people to delay filing their 2014 taxes. That's because it sent the wrong tax information to 800,000 customers of healthcare.gov. Some of the forms included a monthly premium amount of the silver plan for 2015 instead of 2014. The corrected forms should be ready by early March. Well, you may have heard the saying, no one buys from an unhappy salesman. Well, that's why Walmart can expect better sales ahead. The biggest private employer in the nation is giving half a million of its lowest paid workers a pay boost. Many feel it's long overdue. And as WZZM 13's Peter Ross reports, it could prompt higher wages for workers elsewhere.